hello my dear students so in the previous lecture there was some glitch with the video so i'm just continuing from there so let us say if this is a new sheet what you have created i and i want to add a you know uh, all the columns here so i selected like this i'll go here i'll select on this so what has happened now everything is coming in red in color because previously we had selected red color so by default it will take red color so in that case what you should do is you should come here come to the line color and from here you turn it back to black color so i have a black color here so turn it back to black color okay so you can select like this again and everything will become black if not that one, now if I want to add a columns here, I'll select like this. I'll select here. Let us go with all borders only. So now it will come in black in color. Got it, no? So whenever you try to change the color of your border, make sure the next time when you want it to come back with black color, come here, go to the line color, and from here you can come here. Okay. Next is about the style. So we'll go with the style also. This is also good. So in the style, what will happen? Now here only one single border is there. Let us say I want to create a column which should look good. So I'll select like this. I'll come here. I'll come to the line style. So you can see here, you can go with a dotted. You can go with this, a double line, something like this. I'll go with this. Let me see what will happen. Okay, it will come like this. Okay. So you can see this is how it looks. Uh, something different. You can see how the column border are coming, right? So this is a kind of a table. But again, all these things, you can use it in your presentation to make it more, you know, uh, what you call a uh, funny, not funny to make it look good. But usually when you work in projects and all, we try to keep it as simple as possible. So these columns are good. But if you're doing your college projects or something like that, ah, in order to differentiate yourself from other people, you can try to play with all these things. Um, okay. When I, usually we don't use all these things, but again, yeah, sometime it is useful. Let us say, uh, I'll, I'll select like this. I'll come here. I'll go with the line style. I'll go with this one. Uh, I'll go with a double one okay this is double okay it will come something like, yeah this one is something good you can see it, it will look like this okay so you can make use of this and if you want to change the color again select here and you can change the color so try to play with all these things then something more border is written okay here other than that you have more border okay anyhow all these things we don't require so here by default it will come i guess okay no problem fine but usually what we do like i mentioned even though there are a lot of tools here uh, you should understand uh, only few things we try to use because that is what we are concerned with. But you can, uh, you know, use your brain and try to play with all these things and try to come up with a, with, uh, with a good creative table, something like this. That can be done from your side. Okay, great. So this was about all, all about the tables, what I had to explain. You understood how to draw the border, uh, how to draw a border grid and all. Okay, so usually we go with all these things. Yeah, that's how it is. So uh, yeah, one I, I'll I'll give you one uh, practical application of this. Yeah. So this is one of my bar bending schedule course, which I had explained in my advanced quantity estimation course. Okay. This is something related to civil engineering. Okay. So you can see a kind of a shape what I've created. So these shapes you can create. Well, I'll explain you later how these shapes can be created. But with the help of this border command, also you can do. I'll come here. I'll come to insert. I'll go to home. I'll go to this option. You can see this option called as draw border, right? Take it. So let me draw, let me make a shape something like this. Okay, I'll do it here. So I'll select like this. I'll select like this. Okay, fine. I think it disappeared. Again, I'll select this. And again, I'll select like this. So can you see a kind, a same shape has come? Of course, this is a thicker one. I can even make this thicker one. So in this way, you can try to, if I want to write, I'll write 333, same number I'll write here. I'll write uh, 2150, okay. Then I'll write 333. So getting my point. No? So in this way also you can try to do. But this has been uh, done using a uh, insert option. And from insert I have gone with this option and the shapes and all. Anyhow, all these things I'll teach you later. Now it's not required. But I've given you an example. The practical application of that. Where you try to use all this command. Okay. So in this even for the column also I have done all these things. So there also you can. You have, you have created a shape something like this. You can come here. You can go to this option. You can create a shape. Okay, it will not work out there. So every time it will not work out. Yeah, you can create here and from here, I think, yeah, this way. This way you can try to prepare a shape like this. Okay, but again, we go with a different way of doing. So these are few applications where you can use it. Okay, great. So we'll go back to our original sheet. So this was our original sheet. So I think from this particular point in the home section, uh, in this particular font area, most of the things I've covered. Okay, so after that, in the next lecture, 
will go with all these commands like what is the use of this command the a a a b whatever you can see all those things we'll see in the next lecture so try to practice up to here understand uh, a, a little bit about the columns how it has to be used and all so we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you